All right, so this is the new Last of Us trailer for the HBO show that dropped today, which is September 26th. Let's watch. Let's fucking watch, dude. The roses have faded. There's frost at my door. The birds in the morning don't sing anymore. The grass in the valley is starting to die And out in the darkness the whippoorwills cry The darkness is falling Fucking the hell, dude The hound in the distance is starting to fade Oh my god! <laughs> The carousel scene. Oh, that shot. We keep her alive. And you said everything right. Oh my God. Bro, I, I literally have chills again. That shot of the clicker? Are you kidding me? Wait, hold on. It's not done. It's not done. It's done. What is this? HBO? What is this shot of the clicker? Oh my God. This shot right here. Oh my God. Yo, who do you think played this guy? That is so terrifying. They did such a good job making the clicker look as scary IRL as they look in game. All right, we're watching it again. I want to pause and, and, and point some stuff out. Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, the, oh, the phone here. There's something just so, oh, what's the word? Like, you, like we've watched this story in game many times, right? And like the scene setting and the background characters establishing like what society is like right there there's the firefly logo they're painting over it and then also the same shot with the guy manning the light post like this guy something about seeing these people come to life on film is is like uh, it's like i don't even know how to describe it it's it's just it gets me so excited because this story is so worthy of coming to life outside of a game it's just crazy to see though. And I'm so excited to see Pedro. It also really feels like they worked with the writers and the developers of the game to make it accurate and to make it feel right. And what is this shot? What in the Stranger Things is that? Oh, oh and then the clicker sounds. And then the cinematography, like this shot, this fucking drone shot above this bridge. Like it just gets me so excited. Like what this, what this show is gonna look like, where they're gonna take it. With their cinematography, it's gonna be bananas. The casting on fucking point, like. So wait, hold on. Yeah, Neil Druckmann. Please let Ashley Johnson do a cameo. Yeah, the word on the street is that uh, she she's doing a cameo. It's giving. It's actually giving um, a little bit of the leftovers. I mean, I know that was an HBO show, but it's giving similar vibes. Um, I want to figure out who this actor is. Who is, um, who is this? Who is this? She looks familiar. Here, I'll hide my, this person looks familiar. She was on Fringe, IMDb, that's Tess. So she's playing Tess. I'm talking about the actor though. Wait, was she in Leftovers? Anna Torv? Hold on, let me look that up. Oh no, I'm thinking of a different person. She's playing Tess. Fringe, Mindhunter, she was in Mindhunter. Dope, dope. And then the girl they cast as Riley, I don't know who that is, but great casting. Ron Swanson's playing Bill, yep. Oh, that's Rue's sister! What, it is Rue's, oh my God, you're right. What's her name? Storm Reed, oh my God. I. That is wild. You know what I'm excited for? Like I never watched The Walking Dead. 
but I'm excited to see how they approach the infected, like as, you know, as their mannerisms and what they, their makeup looks like, like how they're approaching essentially zombies. Cause I think they're just going to do it really differently. So excited for this. I can't, I literally can't wait. Um, I feel like the last of us and the last of us two, uh, um, like effectively were some of the games that kind of like showed a lot of people, maybe not everyone. Cause a lot of, you know, gamers already knew this, but showed a lot of people that like games can have stories and you know feelings and all the things that come along with like a good television show or movie they can have those even better they can produce the same thing in a game format and i think that's um like without without trying to overshadow that accomplishment because i think that's so important to remember like they at least for you know a lot of the older generation i feel like showed people you didn't need movies and tvs to have shows like or to have stories told like this right so i don't want to overshadow that by getting excited about a tv show that's now coming after the game but i really feel like they're doing this right like it's a game that changed like you said it, exactly it, like it was it shook up the gaming world but in in a way of like storytelling and it was I've never played a game like this ever. And then I played a game like this and it was like, oh my God, this exists. Um, and I think I'm just excited for a lot of people to experience the story, you know, for the first time. Cause a, a lot of people will never play the game. A lot of people will never play the game, but that's what makes the, yeah, the she is playing test. This is so cool. I love this shot. That's what it makes this such a cool thing that they're like, the story is now going to be accessible to so many more people because not everyone plays games. Bella Ramsey is going to absolutely kill it, by the way. What's going on here? That's Sarah? Oh my God. Yeah, I was going to ask, like, when is the timetable, or the timeline, rather, going to is it start and end? Like, I, it's obviously not going to be one and two. It's combining the two. I mean, this is probably essentially one then, right? And then part two will be in the later seasons of this show, maybe? Because it's a show. Flashback of Sarah. Oh my God. Dude, Ellie hits these. Ellie hits these headshots. She hits these headshots right here. Absolute headshot. Shit, hold on. Boom. Look at this headshot. Sarah's scene is literally the hardest scene to watch. I don't know how. Yeah, Jesus. They said the first season will cover most of, if not all, all of the first game. Okay. But that's, um, yeah, wow. And then the, the later seasons of the show will have more of Left Behind and Last of Us Part Two. Can't wait. Can't wait. 2023, baby. Here we come.